Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we are reviewing Head Hawk Touch. This is the string that's used by Sinner and Zarev, and we've had several requests to do this review. Uh, this is a string my son has been using for a really long time, probably about 18 months. I also used it about a year ago for a couple sets. I don't remember why I didn't love it at the time, so I figured it was a good opportunity to review it again and actually do a formal review. So with that said, let's get into it. Let's start with the attributes. So on the control category, I have this rated as in between very good and excellent. It's certainly a control oriented string and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, but it's not quite at the excellent category, mostly because the strings do move around a little bit. Um, but you can't say it's not a control oriented string. It's used by some of the top two best tennis professionals in the world. So who am I going to say that it's not a control oriented swing a string? It certainly is on spin potential. It's very good, but it's a round poly. Um, so it doesn't get a high. It's not a sharp poly that has an extraordinary amount of grip on the ball. It's a sort of dryish poly that's round. Um, it has very good spin potential, but, but nothing exceptional or, or that really stands out. Snapback is not quite very good. It's sort of in between the fair and very good area. And I'll get to that in a moment as well. In general, the strings don't return to their full position, especially after the strings have a little bit of time on it. When the strings are fresh and new, they certainly do snap back quite nicely, but they don't snap back very aggressively and they don't always snap back into their full position. So I have it in between that fair and very good, which is a little bit surprising. You'd expect to have better snapback on a poly like this, um, but you just don't. Power is sort of on the lower end of normal. Um, it doesn't give you a lot for free on the power category. Um, it feels very nice when it's fresh and new, but it certainly doesn't have a lot of extra pop and it sort of gets that lower end of normal. And that's not a bad thing. And you can see why a lot of pros would want that. Pros don't need extra pop on their ball. They have power for miles and they don't necessarily need a polyester string to give them a lot of extra power. So it's very understandable if you're a big hitter that lower on the poly, uh, lower on the power spectrum is probably better for you. So for a lot of players, I wouldn't consider when you see a poly with a lower power rating sort of towards the lower end of normal, that that's not necessarily a bad thing for a lot of players. So you don't necessarily want to see all these attributes highlighted at the highest end of the spectrum because that doesn't tell the whole story. Durability gets a normal. It's not a high. These strings break for me in between five and six hours, so lower than normal. Um, some of the worst polys will break for me in as little as four hours, like restring sync. But this breaks in between five and six and a half hours for me, so I give it a normal on the durability. So it doesn't have exceptional durability. These strings will break they notch up sooner than a lot of other polys because they're sort of a dry polyester string and they're not hyper slick. They get they notch up faster than some other polys and that affects durability. Tension maintenance, there's the real big one here with this string. Tension maintenance is poor to normal um, for a polyester string. This string feels quite exceptional when it's fresh. That first hour of play, this string feels amazing. But the tension, seemingly, whether in reality the tension loss is dramatic, I don't know. I didn't measure it, but it certainly feels like it. These strings will get really mushy quite fast. So it almost gets a pour right in between that pour and normal category. So if you're looking for strong tension maintenance on a string, it's just not it. This is not the string for that. Feel. Uh, moving on to feel. Um, I have a asterisk next to spongy and crisp. So you might ask, how can a string be spongy and crisp? Well, it can't. It's one or the other. Well, here's the deal with this string. When the string is new, it feels fantastic and it feels very crisp. But shortly thereafter, after a good hitting session or two, it starts to feel quite spongy. And if you saw my last review on Toroline O Toro, which I didn't love, you probably heard me say, I'm trying a new string that already feels significantly better than O Toro, and it was this string. But however, that was only in the first hour. My thoughts and opinion on this string changed a lot after the first hour because it, feel, it felt really great the first hour, 
but then started to feel really spongy. And that's not a great thing, right? And that's a result, that's a d direct result from tension maintenance being poor to normal. So the overall grade for all of us regular players is a C plus. Um, you can call it an A when it's new and you can string this all the time, every hour, hour and a half. You'll probably think the string is an A, but the overall grade is a C plus at best for regular players. But when it's fresh, like pros have their str strings strung all the time, their rackets are always fresh, it's an A string. So who is it for? Well, obviously it's for Sinner and Zara because they play incredibly well with head hog touch. So you can't say there's anything wrong with this string when it's fresh, but I know why. They get their, they get their rackets strung daily or sometimes multiple times a day. And for them, it doesn't matter. And that's similar to a lot of pros who use Alu Power or even Yonex Polytor Pro. All three of these strings, their tension maintenance is quite poor and they don't play that well after a few hours or even after an hour. So what the pros are using as an A string or their favorite strings doesn't mean what the regular players who aren't stringing their rackets all the time can use. So for the pros, it's an A, but for everybody else, it's a C plus. So like I said here, when these strings are fresh, the feel and feedback is exceptional. However, after just an hour or so, the playability and feel hits the wall. The long-term playability is so poor that, Sin that Sinner and Zarev can keep it. I will make one other point here about this string. I had it strung at 50 pounds. I've used, also used it at 52 pounds. My son has it strung at 60 pounds. This is a string that certainly won't play well at lower tensions um, in my mind. I can't imagine it would play well at lower tensions. If you're going to use a string and you like the string with tighter tensions, that's where I think this string will shine because the tension maintenance will probably be a little bit better or you wouldn't notice as much. And my son has been using it again for a year, a year and a half, and he likes the strings, but he strings it at 60 pounds. So my suggestion is if you're going to use a string, string it, it's going to perform better at its higher tensions versus lower tensions. And sadly, as much as I thought the string was amazing that first 45 minutes to an hour, would I use it again? No, I string all the time. Um, I have my own stringer, but these strings are also not inexpensive. A reel, um, a reel of the string is I think $220, so it's an expensive string from head. It's also probably about 18 bucks, I think, a set. And for a string that doesn't last very long, when you compare, compare budget and playability and longevity, oh my gosh, I can almost say it's probably one of the worst values on the market. For anyone who's a Sinner fan or a Zara fan and that says, I want to use the same strings as they do, go for it. You'll love it for the first hour. After that, you're on your own. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. And it would be awesome if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and like the video as well. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next days.